finally the moment you've been waiting for. Even without a boat, you can power test the engine. As you've seen in the introduction, you have to prime the engine every time you use it. That just means you pour the water from a couple of inches up into one straw until it comes out the other, or get the water directly from the faucet. You need to actually see the water come out the other straw. Usually that's all you have to do to get the engine ready, but the first time you use the engine is unique. It might seem that the engine is completely filled with water, but actually if you could see the straws inside the engine, you would see the water draining out the other straw right away. Here's another way to look at it. If I stuff paper away from the opening of a cup, tip it over and immerse it in water, the paper stays dry because an air bubble was trapped in the cup. An air bubble in the top of the engine keeps the water from getting past the bottom. You wouldn't want the engine to be full of water. That would take forever to heat up. But the engine does depend on tiny droplets of water on the inside surface flashing quickly into steam. So the first time after you prime, cover the end of the straws with your thumb and tip over and shake the engine to wet it inside. Next time you don't have to shake it again unless you haven't used the engine for weeks. Lower the straws into the water without losing the prime inside the straws. The end of the straws should be just below the water's surface. I hold the engine by the bendy part of the straws. You might be afraid that hot water coming out of the engine will burn your fingers, but actually, when the engine's working, where I'm holding doesn't even feel warm, let alone hot. If it gets hot enough that you have to let go, something's not right. With your other hand, light the candle. The flame should be about midway between the front and the back of the engine. Later you can experiment with a little more forward or backward, but start in the middle. If you apply heat for 30 seconds and the engine still does not work, shake out the water, prime it, and try it again. If you keep heating an engine that's not working, you can damage the glue. You'll smell the hot metal and glue. The smaller flame of a tea candle might take a little longer to start. For reasons I don't completely understand, sometimes engines don't quite work right the first time, but work just fine after that. If your engine worked, skip ahead past the troubleshooting section. Power test your steam engine. Always prime the straws with water. The first time you use it, close the ends and shake the water around the inside of the engine. If the engine does not work, shake out all the water, prime it again, and try again. <laughs>